Thursday. It's been a day. Um, been working. Going. I had a big meeting up in Al or over in Albuquerque with the Central Baptist Association. I had a good time. Good meeting there. Um, took care of some business for the Lord. Amen. Uh, and I'm, I'm tell you what. I'm I'm excited about what God's doing in our association and in our convention. Uh, and I'm excited about what God's doing here at First Baptist of Bernalillo. I'd ask everybody to pray. We're trying to. Uh, we're looking at doing some things, and we've we've talked about moving forward with some evangelism uh, this coming year, uh, some new programs, and we we we're trying to make uh, steps forward on that. And I pray that you would help me pray about that, that God's hand would be in it, and that His mighty hand would control and lead as as He sees fit. Well, let's get back to our word with Pastor Al. Uh, we've talked this week on. Two words, possessions and descendant. You know, possessions are those things that we keep. And if we look at it as an earthly aspect, and I said, you know, when we talked about that, we need to have our possessions in heaven. And we we often think about those possessions that we have. And then we have descendants, those that are in our bloodline, those that are in our family, those that are of the same thing. And, 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 we leave those possessions to our descendants, and that word is called an inheritance. And that's our word for today, inheritance. Now, we've talked about heavenly things that we're putting away in, there in heaven, and we've talked about that. And then yesterday we talked about descendants and how we're, uh, we're part of Abraham's offspring. And our verse for the day is Galatians 3.29, which we did use it yesterday, but it fits today. And if you are Christ then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. All through scripture, God has promised uh, that he would take care of us. And he is always, and he still does. Uh, we've, we've talked about different words like protection and, and how he fulfills our needs. And he does all these things, but there is far more. And that was my conclusion from Sunday's message is that, that Jesus, the Father, and Jesus are not done with their bride and with Jesus' bride and planet Earth. We have an inheritance. Think about uh, what Jesus said there on the uh, Sermon on the Mount when he talked to the Beatitudes in chapter five, verse Matthew. He said, "He said the meek shall inherit the earth." And those meek are the ones that are not about power and the things of this earth, but following the will of the Father and worshiping him and accepting him and having that relationship that we had with him back in the Garden of Eden. And, you know, we can't imagine what it is that God has stored for us through Jesus, who is, he's going to call his bride home here shortly, I believe. Uh, but you can't imagine what we have to look forward to. And scripture tells us that in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2, verse 9, and it says, But as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. Uh, that's not, uh, he did it at the beginning, we messed it up. No, that's not it. That's not it at all. Jesus, he died on the cross. He reconciled us to a place that we can say, Abba, Father, we know that the Heavenly Father, that that." Jesus is the, the, the only son of man is God made flesh. And then he give us the Holy Spirit. But God has put together something that we can't even imagine. We can't, I, it's, it's, you know, I've, I've said some things Sunday and I said, I have a vivid imagination of what it's going to be like during the millennial reign and then what eternity is going to be like. I think about those things because I believe if we keep our focus on things of this earth, and that what it says in Corinthians or uh, Colossians uh, chapter three, you know, set not your affection on things of this earth, but things that are above. And I'm looking forward to that inheritance that God has prepared for us that I can't even imagine what it's like. Only thing I can think of is, is the things that we have here on earth. But we need to understand that we have this inheritance through Abraham's offspring that we talked about yesterday, and that's Jesus. Ephesians 1, start with verse 11, in him we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. Now that sounds just like Romans 8, uh, 28, right? Everything for his purpose. So that we who were his first to hope in Christ might be to the praise of his glory. 
in him, you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation and believed in him were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. Thank, aren't you glad you got the Holy Spirit? And it goes on, it says, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it to the praise of the Lord, of his glory. We know that Jesus, as we were talking about Sunday, the deed for planet earth, God's holding it in his hand there in the throne room and <laughs> he has presented that deed. This week, we're gonna talk about Jesus. Uh, he, he takes the deed. Uh, and he, he's going to, there's things that are going to happen. And that is to fulfill the promise to the Abraham seed, those, the, the Jews, because the church is already there in heaven. Amen. But when it's all said and done during the millennial reign, we will rule and reign with him. And, uh, you know, this inheritance that we have, you know, between now and the millennial reign and taking over, uh, you know, rule and reign in this earth with, with Jesus, uh, we're going to go by the Bema seat, right? We're going to be judged. So crowns are part of our inheritance as well. And I think we need to work toward those things. Now, that is one thing that we do work for, you know. Uh, you know, we work hard at the things here on this earth to, to leave an inheritance. Well, when we work here on this earth to do God's will, we gain an inheritance there in heaven. And it's through crowns. Colossians 3, starting with verse 23, whatever you do, do work heartily. As for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward for serving the Lord Christ. I believe, you know, we will have other things that God has promised us, but I, I you know, those crowns, uh, we wouldn't have a chance of that, and we're going to take those crowns off and throw them at Jesus' feet. I believe that those crowns can be part of our inheritance. We need to work towards that and live for that. Look forward to that. Uh, it's something that we have, and you know, anytime you have something to look forward to, it makes it easier to guide. As uh, my preacher down in Florida, uh, Pastor Mulford, he used to say, you know, it's, it's, it's easier to steer something that's moving. And I believe if we're looking and moving towards heaven, we can steer and do the things, work hard, that we might see some of those crowns at the beam of seat. So we need to thank the Father. And... Uh, that he didn't give up on us, right? Uh, he could have just squashed it all there when when man fell there in the garden, but he didn't give up on us. He said there in the garden, when he confronted Satan, he told him what was gonna happen. And he, you know, nothing takes God by surprise. And I believe that he, you know, he knew then that he was gonna take care of us and Jesus knew he was gonna come and be our, our savior. Uh, but he included us he not only didn't give up, but he included us in this inheritance. Colossians 1 verse 12, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He also said in 1 Peter um, chapter 1, starting with verse uh, 3, Blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the Father's power or God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last day. I'm looking forward to seeing God and all that he's prepared, but he's going to sit there and he's going to say, my children, and through Jesus, who was raised from the dead, that in itself, the the resurrection of Jesus gives us the ability to be resurrected there. And we're going to have our glorified bodies and we're going to be having a time there in heaven, even before we get to earth and everything else, just to know that we can see Jesus face to face. And we need to thank Jesus who was willing to accept the deed to planet earth. He is the one and the only one who's worthy to take the deed out of God's hand. And it, I, I, we need to thank him. Ephesians 1.14, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory. Hallelujah. Jesus, he came. He lived here on earth for 33 years. We talked about him yesterday. We didn't receive him. Mankind did not receive him. But because of him and him being a descendant, the, the, the offspring singular of Abraham, he gives us an opportunity to have a part in this 
this inheritance that's laid out before us. Back to our verse of the day, Galatians 3.29, and if you are Christ, you've accepted Jesus as your Savior. If you've given yourself and you call him Lord, and you live your life for him, it says, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. You see, God promised us this earth. The meek shall inherit the earth. And I believe that I'm looking forward to seeing this earth during the, uh, the, when we see the new earth and the new heaven and we're able to live here as it was in the Garden of Eden without sin, without corruption, with, with just the love of the Father and us working together and loving one another and just having an awesome time. Amen. No conflict, no worries, and, and just enjoying the Lord. So my attitude adjustment is, you know, my earthly inheritance is nothing compared to what God has left his children. I look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it more and more every day. The older I get, you know, 60 is not as old as it once was to me. Uh, and I, you know, I've accepted the fact that I could live another 10 years. Um, you know, if, I, if, if the Lord uh, tarries and gives me my 70 years. But I tell you what, there's a lot of people in, at First Baptist that, that are at 90 years old. So I could have 20, 30 years, you know, you can't ever tell, but I want to, I want to keep my eyes on, on, on what the, the Lord's doing for us. Amen. The, that mark that Paul talked about when he, he wrote to Phil, uh, Philippi, working towards the mark, the high calling. Amen. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, before we go to uh, the Lord in prayer, I think we need to pray for our new president. I think we need to pray for our nation. Um, the things that happened yesterday uh, were unexcusable. Uh, and I, I pray that that we, you know, we're still a nation that is, the I, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. And I believe that, uh, Mr. Biden, you know, we need to pray for him. That's what the Bible tells us to do. We need to lift him up and we need to pray for him in a way that, that God can still use him. And, uh, you know, anybody in Washington, that we're protecting and he put those people in office for a reason. And uh, I think we need to pray for him. Also pray for Steve. Uh, they buried his brother today and um, they'll be traveling tomorrow coming home. Uh, but I, my heart goes out to the Brewer family and I pray that y'all would pray with me on that. Okay, let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for your blessings. The blessings that you give us the opportunity to store possessions there in heaven that we can be um, your offspring and, and through Jesus and what he did for us there on the cross. And we thank you for the inheritance that we can look forward to, that we can uh, see one day when we get to heaven. I pray that you would help us to keep our minds and our, our hearts focused on your perfect will. Uh, let us reflect uh, the things that are going on in our world that we might be able to be a bright light. I pray that you'd be with our church. First Baptist says we, we try to reach out uh, to people all around our, our little church. We pray for the Pueblo and the revival that's going on there. We thank you for the, your holy uh, hand as it moves and as, as people are calling them to pray for them. I pray that you would continue to lift people up there at the Pueblo. I thank you for Enrique and the, 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 the job he's done as, as an interpreter there at the church. And, and Lord, our Spanish ladies, and, and such a blessing they are. And I pray that you would uh, continue to bless our Spanish people and give us more. Lord, we pray that you'd help us to reach the Anglos and, and, and reach those that, that just are trying to make, make it through the day. And I pray that we would do it in your love. Uh, in your grace, in your perfect leading. And I pray that you'd give us strength. I pray that you'd give us wisdom. I pray that you'd give us leaders. I pray that you would move in our little church, that we could grow in numbers as we talked about Sunday. Not just in numbers, but in, 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 in the power that comes from allowing Jesus to be manifested through our little small body. Thank you so much for being such an awesome God that you include us in your work. Let us not be weary. Let us work hard. And I pray that we would never take our eyes off the prize. I pray that we would be that light and that salt that you've called us to be, that we can make a difference. 
Thank you for those that listen to us on the internet. We pray that you would bless them. And I pray that you would give us a day that uh, we can remember. And I pray that as we rest tonight, we'll look forward to tomorrow and what you're going to do through us. We ask all these wonderful things in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Y'all be back tomorrow. Love you. And y'all be safe, okay?